A Saturday on the lake at Chippewa Park near Brandon for brothers Casey Skinner and Dustin Allen. Swimming and having fun. Was interrupted by screams. In a time of need, you just don't think, you just act. They got out of the water, ran across the parking lot. Right over here. And realized a minivan had driven over a toddler. The child was right in this area. Her head was in between here. And he was going to back up because, well, he didn't even know what the heck happened. And if he would have backed up, he would have killed her instantly. The brothers are big and they are strong. Constantly lift weights. I do a lot of deadlifting, squatting. And with adrenaline pumping, they grabbed a hold of that van. We all got under here with our arms and just basically like a deadlift position, used your back and just pulled up. Lifted up. Lifted up the front end of the minivan and freed 23-month-old Kenzie Moran. She survived with scrapes, bruises, and a severed big toe which doctors at Gillette Children's Hospital in St. Paul reattached after she was airlifted there. It makes us feel good mm -hmm. to be able to help with her to be still alive. And it feels even better to see the impact they made. This is Kenzie's mom, Catherine, saying thanks. Awesome. And she has a surprise for the brothers who saved her daughter. This is Kenzie. Hi, Kenzie. Glad you're okay. Kenzie's out of the hospital after three nights. Her mom nearly speechless. They are definitely heroes. I could never ever repay them in any way, shape, or form. Don't even know you guys and you just jumped. You jumped like it was nothing. It was just automatic for us to do that. We're here screaming something's going on. We're, okay. No matter where we're at, we're going to stop and help. It is the happy ending this type of accident too often doesn't have. Could have been way worse. And none of these folks Take it for granted. I could never ever say thank you enough. Even though Kenzie's back home now, she has many doctor's appointments scheduled in the Twin Cities. Her mom will have to skip work to bring her there. We have a link to her GoFundMe page on care11.com. In Brandon, Lou Raguse, Care 11 News.